Hey guys, it's Mark aka The Drunk Bunny back with you again today for another new video. Today I'm going to be heading over to Evansville to see Deadpool, uh, Deadpool 2. Um, and yeah, real quick right off the bat, if I'm not in the best mood in this video, I apologize about that. I just got done taking an exam. Um, yes, I'm on summer vacation, but I've had a shit ton of trouble with the ACT exam, which is basically like the basic skills exam that you have to pass in order to become a teacher in Illinois. And I've had so much trouble with that exam ever since I started college because my high school offered the ACT, but they did not offer the writing portion. So I got a passing score on the ACT. I think I got like a 23 or something. I think a passing score was like a 19. So I was clearly passing but I didn't get to do the writing portion. So when I went to college, I found out that I had to have the writing portion and they won't let you just take the writing test. You have to take the entire test over again. So I decided to take the um, TAP, which is basically the same exam, except it's uh, more expensive and it's one that you can take like individual portions of, but they made me take the whole thing and I failed the math part. <laughs> um, I hate math. I haven't had math in four years. So I just now got done retaking the math part and they give you a little sheet when you leave and it said I didn't pass. So I've taken that math test twice, still haven't passed it. So it's kind of pissing me off. Um, and it's pissing me off because a math test is what is holding me back from becoming a history teacher. Why on earth do I need to pass a math exam to be a history teacher. This is stupid. Incredibly stupid. They won't let me take the classes that I need to take next semester if I don't pass this exam. So I know I've been rambling for a while and you guys probably don't give a shit about that, but I <laughs> just wanted to kind of um, vent a little bit um, because it is making me very upset right now. I have to take the exam again. I've got to schedule it again and I have to do it as soon as possible because I have to have those passing scores in over the summer so I can get registered for my classes in the fall. So yeah, I don't even know what a passing score is. I thought the exam was easy. I, I did. I really thought, I thought it was easy. I thought for sure I had answered at least half the questions right. I don't know how many questions you have to get right to pass that motherfucker. But yeah, it's really, really ticking me off. And Anyway, um, in order to take my mind off of that, I'm going to go see Deadpool. Uh, I haven't seen Deadpool 2 yet. I saw the first one, of course. I loved it. And excited for some comedy to kind of bring my mood back up a little bit. Um, not really going to do any media hunting. Got a little, a little less than two hours before the movie starts. Um, and I haven't left town yet. It's about an hour drive, so... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, uh, make a stop, I think, along the way. Uh, I think I'm gonna hit up a couple Goodwills. Not really for media hunting, I mean, I'm gonna look at the media while there, while I'm there. But I'm gonna look for, um, look for, uh, a suit jacket or two. Um, cause I'm kind of, kind of need some of those. I'm get, starting to get into a more professional career. So, um, within the next year or so. So I'm gonna need to buy some more of those. And um, Goodwill's a great place to get them because they're really cheap. So I'm actually going to go there. I'm going to, of course, look at the media. So you may see a little couple clips from Goodwill. Um, otherwise, I'll probably see you at the theater for Deadpool 2. Okay, guys, getting ready to go in to see Deadpool 2. Um, I'm obviously expecting good things. I've heard pretty good things, and the first one was amazing. Just a completely different feel for a superhero movie that we've never seen. A raunchy comedy that's also a superhero film. Pretty freaking cool, and I'm really excited to see Deadpool 2. Um, so yeah, let's get in there. I'll see you guys a few moments later with my thoughts. A few moments later. Alright guys, so just got out of seeing Deadpool 2. And it was really, really freaking awesome. Uh, I loved every second of the film. Um, it did a lot of the same things the last one did. Tons of gratuitous violence. Tons of uh, hilarious moments, laugh out loud moments. 
but I don't think it was quite as funny as the first one. Um, I will kind of say that. I think the characters were better. Um, there's a lot of depth. I really love Josh Brolin as Cable. I mean, this is like the summer of Josh Brolin in Marvel films. He played Thanos, and now he's played Cable. Two amazing performances. Um, and Cable's character was just awesome every second of him. The, from the first moment he's on the screen, well, I, yeah, but it wasn't quite his first scene that blew me away. It was his scene, like one of his first scenes. Um, when uh, when he becomes like a major part of the film, when he first interacts with Wade Wilson and Deadpool, um, that that scene was incredible from start to finish. Um, I, like I said, I don't think it was quite as funny as the first one, but that may be partly because it wasn't surprising when the jokes happened because I was expecting it all along. When I watched the first Deadpool, and one of the things that makes Deadpool so great on first watch, the first one, is the fact that I wasn't expecting the comedy. Um, I mean, obviously, if I had known a lot about the film before I watched it, I would have expected comedy, but I didn't know anything about it. I just knew it was um, supposedly really good. Um, and from the, sec from the get-go in that one, it is just hilarious in the first one. Um, and this one had a lot more emotion to it as well. Um, the, the first film was emotional, but this film, some pretty major stuff happens. Um, and it, it gave the film a bit of a more serious tone. And, uh, kind of had me, uh, had me emotional at parts. Um, not to the point of tears or anything, but, you know, I was feeling some stuff. And then, you know, it kind of wraps up on a more, uh, on a lighter note, um, as well. So, yeah, really loved it. Ryan Reynolds was awesome, as always. Kind of resent Ryan Reynolds because of how attractive he is. <laughs> um, but, uh, but he is, you know, people love him for a good reason, other than the fact that he's attractive. Like, I, I have no... Um, respect for people, or very little respect for people who are famous just because they're attractive, um, like the Kardashians or whatever, but th this guy really has talent, and pokes fun at himself really well, which is a great quality in a person, not only just as a comedian and actor as well, um, yeah. Expected moments, you know, that, like the, like I said, the violence, the action scenes were great, um, I expected a lot of the uh, raunchy comedy that we got, which was awesome as well. The music was amazing. Um, I expected it to be. Uh, this is actually scored by Tyler Bates again, who I, I've loved on most of the movies he has scored recently. He did uh, the soundtrack for Atomic Blonde, which was probably my favorite soundtrack last year, um, and one of my favorite movies of the year last year. He did the soundtrack for this as well. Great. The first, um, one of the first scenes uses a Dolly Parton song, and that was just, that scene with that song was just so freaking incredible. Like, I, I, I was loving every second of it. I couldn't get the smile off my face in the theater when they used that song in that scene. And, um, and really poked fun a lot. I think they did this in the first one, maybe to a lesser extent. But they really poked fun at the other Marvel films, the other Marvel characters. Lots of references and hidden jokes that maybe you wouldn't get if you haven't watched a lot of the Marvel films. And they even poked fun at some other films, like some of the DC films as well, which I thought was hilarious. Deadpool always does stuff like that. Super meta. Um, some of the best moments were when he's narrating uh ryan reynolds as deadpool is narrating the film which is just great gold 110 percent of the time so yeah I, I i think this is my favorite movie of the year so far that i've seen uh in theaters definitely definitely loved every second of it deadpool 2 go see it if you haven't though by the time this video gets up i'm sure most of you have probably already seen it i'm about a week late i think um i had to work or no wait, it came out last weekend. Yeah. 
Today is Wednesday. It came out last Friday, so I'm actually not that late at all. Um, but I had to work most of the weekend last weekend when it came out, and it was killing me. <laughs> um, and then this week I've had some uh, drama, as uh, as you know from the beginning of this video, where I kind of went on a rant about my um, my tests. But anyway, I'm sure you guys don't care about that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. Um, also hit that subscribe button down below to stay tuned for future content. Uh, I know Solo, uh, that Star Wars movie is coming out Friday. Not sure if I'm going to see that or not. I'm really not that hype about it. I do love Han Solo, but I'm just, I've seen the trailers and I'm just, it's just not doing it for me. So I don't know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll be pretty good. Um, I've heard... I've heard a lot of Star Wars fans are kind of iffy about this film, um, and also Ron Howard doesn't have the best track record um, with franchises, so we'll see um, how how this one goes. Um, at the very least, I'll see it eventually. Don't know if I'm going to see it in the theater or not, but uh, I do work this weekend, and I work most of the next week. So I'm going to be busy. I don't know if I'll have time to get out here again for at least a couple weeks. So we'll see. Maybe not a whole lot of content coming up soon, but there will be new stuff. Um, summers. Summer is good because I have time to do stuff, but it's also kind of um, tough because I have really shitty internet at home. Uh, my parents' Wi-Fi just sucks. Like, it takes half a day to upload a video, a 10-minute, 20-minute video like this. It takes, like, half a day to upload, so... Um, not a whole lot of content this summer, but I'm hoping to get some. Um, but, yeah, maybe some music-related stuff soon. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I got a couple albums pre-ordered that are coming out pretty soon. So maybe an album review of some sort coming relatively soon. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering. Um, have an awesome day. Bye.